welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a video all about hair extensions and how to apply them and everything you kind of want to know when you are preparing to get hair extensions. So the hair extensions I'm wearing right now are taping and I think they're amazing. The hair is from Clip Hair and it's 20 inches. I will leave all the information about the hair I used and um, how long and the shade and stuff in the description box. They were from Clip Hair and I want to say a huge thank you to Clip Hair for helping me out and sending me some hair extensions. Honestly, I've never felt hair extensions more soft in my entire life and I'm not just saying this, I really was getting everyone to feel it. I was like, literally feel how soft they are, they're insane. If you are new here, it would mean the absolute world to me if you were to go down below and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my videos. And if you were to give this video a thumbs up, it would help me out so much. Let's see how many we can get. And with that said, let's get started with the video. So first you wanna prep your hair by washing your hair that day. I think it's very important to make sure your hair is freshly washed you don't want any oils in there otherwise the tapes will slip and you also want to brush your hair before applying them just so there's no knots and it just makes everything easier I just want to say we are not professionals we don't have any qualifications on putting in tape and extension just done this at home and as the title says this is going to be for people that are looking to do it at home and if you were like a professional at tapings I don't know why you'd be watching this video anyway but I'm just putting it out there so to start off with you want to part your hair into four sections you want to part your hair directly down the middle all the way down to the back you also want to part your hair right behind your ear you're going to be putting only a few hair extensions there and you want to be careful when you place them there because otherwise they will show so you want to make sure to clip up any bits of hair that are going to get in the way and then you want to move on to the back section so you want to ignore the first two sections at the front for now so you want to take one section at the back and you want to start about two fingers up and you want to part your hair there so it's a little bit hard to explain but you'll see on the clips and you want to make sure your hair partings are really really straight at first they won't be straight but you just want to go in and fix it up before you apply the tape in so you want to do that on the other side as well I just want to note you also really want to be careful with where you place the tape you don't want to put them too close to the scalp and you want to leave a little bit of a gap so that you can move the hair freely when putting your hair up and just so it's very comfortable for whoever's wearing the tape ins so with the tape ins you will see on the screen right now that they are sticky on one side and you want to peel off that sticky section and that's kind of how it will stick to your hair so once you've done that you just want to double check that it's about two fingers up just because if you do have your hair up and it's not two fingers up the tape ins will show so once you've got that little section you want to take almost like a size very similar to the size of the tape in and you want to section that off making sure to keep everything really neat and clean and in straight lines so if you see any baby hairs or any hairs that aren't in that straight line you want to make sure to move them out of the way so they don't get stuck in the tapes so once you've done that you want to lift your hair up and you want to put the tape underneath then you want to just put the hair directly on top of the tape and kind of like press down to make sure they're kind of secure then before you go in with the second tape to stick right directly on top you want to make sure any little baby hairs are out of the way so with the second piece it's almost like a sandwich you just want to stick it directly on top of the previous piece and that is literally how you do it you want to do the exact same thing on the other side and on the bottom row you want to make sure to have only two pieces because otherwise it will show if you do have your hair up so moving on to the the next row I'm not gonna go through every single row but there is typically on a normal average head about five rows of hair extensions and I will put a chart on the screen right now to kind of show where they're meant to be placed on my head I have a little bit of a smaller head so I couldn't fit as many round in a row but um, you kind of have to go off your head shape and making sure that you have two fingers by the ear and two fingers going up just to make sure none of them are showing so with the second row you want to use a bricklay effect rather than sticking them directly above the previous one you want to do one in the middle of them two and then one either side and you will see on the screen here because it is a little bit confusing to explain so you want to do the exact same thing part off a little bit of hair around the same size as the tape in then you want to get any baby hairs out of place and stick the tape underneath and stick the other piece directly on top as I said, make sure to leave a gap between the scalp because you don't want to put it too close otherwise you won't be able to move them freely and comfortably and on this row you want to do about three pieces. 
So you want to apply the two finger rule around the whole entire head. You want to also make sure when you're applying them near the sides of your head that you leave around two fingers around the ear so you can't see them when you're putting your hair up. So on the next row you are going to be applying even more, just following the same technique across the whole entire head. Stop around two fingers above the ear so you don't see them at the back of your head. So once you're all the way to the top, that is the back done and then you want to move on to the front section. So because these hairs at the front of my face are quite short, I do want them to blend in as best as I can without them being shown. So around the front of my face here, my hair is quite wispy. I don't know why it's always been like that. So obviously I don't want to apply any extensions there, otherwise they will be seen. So it's the same technique as the entire head. I applied one two fingers back. Then we sectioned another piece of hair and did one above that and then again and then again. I managed to get four. It honestly depends on how thick and volumized you want your hair to be but some people tend to do around two. And then I did the exact same thing for the other side. It's the easiest type of extension to apply. Obviously you have to get the hang of it. So then you just want to let all your hair down, make sure to brush it through. I actually went ahead and curled my hair so they blend better. I always like my hair curled anyway. I absolutely love how they turned out. I love my hair in extensions. I've had extensions for about a year now and I was missing them so, so much. If you are interested in purchasing these hair extensions, I will leave a link to them down below. They are from Clip Hair and honestly, they're so, so soft and they're amazing quality. So if you did enjoy the video and found it helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It would mean the absolute world to me. Also, it would mean a lot to me if you were to hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any of my videos. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. Bye!